Jacob. He used to be found when he's praying alone. And why he had to pray alone? He was going to build up the lives of people that were separated from God and to reconcile them back to God. Yes. From the garden of Eden, because of the deception of the devil, the devil separated man from God. When Christ was born in the world, the whole of his life yake yote. Yes, he spent it in prayer Ali, tumia kwa maombi. A teka teka. preparing himself Akijianda. Ah. A teka teka. preparing Akianda. A teka teka. Akianda. A teka teka. Gwenange. Preparing you and me and the generation that will come. That's why the blood of Jesus it paid for us all. In every tribe, in every nation. Either tall, or in the either short, or either thin, or in the we were bought by the blood of Jesus. Why? Because Christ built his life unto his father. The Bible says, He was born that when Jesus died and rose again, he left the grave holding the keys. He used two things there. The first one, the first one, he declared Alitangaza. that I've gotten the keys. I've gotten the keys. Listen. He declared that I've gotten the keys. Listen. Then the second chapter. He handed them over. Alipeana Funguo. He handed them over to someone. Listen. When he handed them to someone, and he said, Whatever, whatever you bind on earth will be bind in heaven. But whatever you and your will be unlocked in heaven. Where do we get the authority? Yes, Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, he, 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 he paid the price. Through prayer, through standing in for us, and he got the keys and the keys. Listen, when I'm walking, do you know the kinds of wings that are with me? Era, era Wings. We, ma, ma power. Yes, my power, yes, is trail. The winds that are upon my life, if then though I give you my underwear and I give it to you and you take it to the witch doctors, you can't bewitch me. You can't I bewitch have me. Spirit different. I have a different spirit. I'm Oria. I'm Oria man. I'm Oria man. I'm Maskofu mia moja wanaiza ingia ndani yake. Just this is the, the how this is the example. Indio kielelezo. To take 
Tutekwa kuruana. We have to fight. Lazima tupigane. Kumbe wach. Why? Kwa nini? Wali wa msajja. Because there is a man. Kwa sababu kuna mtu. Yesu Kristo. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. Yanyage bisumuluzo ebya bibibwa. Put up the keys that were stolen. Ambaye alichukua ile ufungua ambayo ilikuwa imeibiwa. Na bikomia wewe hiyo mtu. And brought them back to man. Na akarudisha Hallelujah. Amen. Ebi sumuluzo hiyo. Those keys. Bia tukwata. They are the ones we get hold of. And we open up blessings. Ndio sumuluzo. Fungua mahali. And we open up. Ndio sumuluzo. And we open up. Whatever you want. Kisa tunataka. Luka 10. It is written in Luke 10. Andikwa katika kitabu cha Luka 10. 10:19. Bible says. Inasema, "Nitiravamba wata amanyi nobu yinza." I have given you power and authority. Nimekupa nguvu na mamlaka. Amanyi nobu yinza. Power and authority. Nguvu na mamlaka. Munali nyanga kunjabe zobu sagwa. Do you step on to the snake? Kunyaga nyoka. Munali nyanga kumporogo mento. You step on to the young lion. Kunyaga ata simba wadogo. The one thing to echil kola kamina katoro. There is nothing that will harm you. Akuna kila bato kita kuduro. Pomera kuzimbe nchu yaku yasu. After building your house on the rock. Na tangu la buruji na mukama. And you walk right with God. Na tangu la buruji na yasu. Right with Jesus. There is no 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 There is life of one that believes in god because he has built his house on the rock kwenye mwamba kama wewe ulinyidili olala wana ngoza sanyidili i normally use scriptures wana tumia maandiko kubanga sina budde busomesa because i have no time to teach kwa sababu sina wakati wa kufundisha na ina baza katonda but i thank god lakini namshukuru mungu Bishop ngeza kubuli runda kwa kumsindikira wakili one verse I always say to bishop one per day a verse or a scripture Nina how to interpret kwa siku how to engeri yokuvunula mu ekigambo cha katonda how to interpret the word of god uweza kuelewa maandiko ama neno la bwana why kwa nini hiyo ni mtumishi wa mungu amen yeye ni mtumishi wa mungu he's our father yeah You know uh e waya za masanyalazi zinu zemulaba these lines of the electricity is nyaya za stima singa zibelanga zilina damage wezi wezi tale wezi tabikidwa if they have somewhere where they are damaged and they are not well covered up kama kuna mahali imekatika na haijafunikwa bweze sinkana when they come together zikikutana pamoja zikola muliro they create a spark zina i'm here to fungua do that niko hapa kufanya hiyo kazi amen unajua unafahamu do you understand mimi ni waya sasa i am a waya i'm a cable mimi ni nyaya ya stima yes na wewe and you sasa tuangana pamoja we are going to connect together tunatoa moto Amen. Are you there, Matt? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mate na waka hapa tu. Lale mate ni leo. But this is the procedure of condition. Amen. Lakini ndio kitu lazima ufuate. Bible ewa exubizo. The Bible gives a promise. Biblia inapeana ahadi. Okuva kumsaja kwa baita Musa. From the man Moses. As he was praying to God. How to help the people of Israel. The Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 23. Kutoka 23. Twenty verse chapter twenty three verse twenty two. The word of God. What means the word? You do the word. What the means? In summa, onu yali Musa. This is Moses. Amen. This is what the Bible says. 
If you listen carefully to what my voice Moses is speaking about God. Musa anaongea kumuhusu Mungu. I don't read the Bible like how Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, Biblia inasema if you hearken unto my voice listen are there other voices yes yes they are there yes they are there other people hearken unto other voices not the voice of the Lord why did I start Simba enjoy By building your house on the rock. If you build on the rock, your mindset changes. Amen. Your mindset, your wisdom and your life They are transformed And they focus on God And you receive a spirit And you receive the spirit of God And the fruits of God And those are the equipments of the kingdom And those are the pillars That build And so that you receive faith you receive giving you receive helping you receive different kinds of things all those are pillars why? the bible has said that if you hearken unto my voice There are some voices that people hearken unto Before I wind up listen Do you know that the devil also preaches the gospel The devil preaches the gospel The devil preaches Look, take at this example. The, like God can bring up an example. Let's take the example of the bishop that he has said we are going to pray. And then the devil starts preaching to you. You work hard. You're so tired. Whom are you going to leave this work? Whom will you live for the house? You put the condition. That is the gospel of the devil. Yes, to compromise. Kuweza kukubaliana. To compromise. Kukubaliana. Compromise is a, a satanic gospel. Iyo ni njili ya shetani. Kukubaliana ni njili ya shetani. The heart of compromise. Jesus took a long time when he was rebuking his disciples why do you have little faith watch why? Why do you have little faith? That little faith. When God knew that a great faith is the one that proceeds great things. It is it that sets off things. Apostle Paul says in Hebrews, that faith is the one that confirms the unseen thing. 
inadhibitisha mambo makubwa haleluya haleluya abantu abasingwa munti mukiriza bwe muti most people believe like this watu wengi huamini namna hii basa sawa kukiriza nti mukiriza katonda the bishop can say believe god yakwa pastor anaweza sema amini mungu abalala no tunulile ni miroyo and then for you you look at your farm wewe unaanza kuangalia shamba lako abalala no tunulile byolina and then you look at what you have uangalie kile ulicho nacho and then your heart is there and settled moyo wako uko pale haujatulia kati bible ya gamba bwana this is what the bible says hiyo kile biblia inasema omutima go that your heart ya kwamba moyo wako yo. your soul nafsi yako must trust god without withering lazima imtumainie mungu bila kuyumba yumba Hicho chatuka kwa bana wa Israeli. That happened and the children of Israel. Yetendeka kwa bana wa Israeli. Bana wa Israeli bayombe samusa. When the children of Israel were disturbing Moses, they were complaining to him. Complaining why did you take us out of Egypt? Kwa kinungunika kwa nini umetutoa Misri? Musa bayamba okubacha mkubana bana mbutu. Moses was taking them out of slavery. Moses alikuwa anawatoa kwenye utumwa. Kwa miaka chawe jali chatu kata. Because their time had passed. Kwa sababu wakati wao ulikuwa ume mukama yali yabawe kisubizo cause god had promised them mungu alikuwa amewaahidi na bagamba mumwe ndicha munabi nabi huyo ali bayamba and he said through you i'll get a prophet and that prophet will help you ya kwamba kutoka kwenu nitachukulia nabi na huyo nabi atawasaidia huyo nabi musa Then here comes prophet Moses. Atanso kubayamba. He has started helping them. To go out of slavery. Kutoka utumwani. Kati kola ekibale changu. Now you can calculate easily. Unaweza piga hesabu vizuri. Abasumba bangwe bakabayamba mirundi ya meka wakagana mirundi ya meka. So how many times have you pastors helped you and for how many times have you refused? Ni mara ngapi watungaji wamekusaidia ni mara ngapi umekataa? Era bocho bofanana And that's how you are. Ibo ndivyo ulivyo. Echo tumuchaga la konze. I know you won't love that. Nataka hautapenda hiyo. The word of God is reality. Lakini neno la Bwana ni ukweli. Yeah. Amen. Amina. Yeah, this is true. Hii ni ukweli. Wakagane mirundi yameka. For how many times have you denied it? Ni mara ngapi umekana? They are always bringing you clothes. Come and go for prayers. Come and read the word of God. Come and go for baptism. Come and to the service of miracles. You compromise. Unakubaliana. Kati ulira Musa kwa gamba. Listen to what Moses says. Sikia kile Musa alisema. Boliuli la dala that if you hearken unto ya kwamba ukisikia chicha chida kao what follows next bible ya gamba wewe the bible ni kile kufuata boliuli la dala byo nabi enjokera that if you hearken unto what i say ukisikia chenjokera each and every word i say kila neno ambayo nitasema katulira listen Oh, that's this verse when you saw my pride in me whenever i read this verse i feel proud that god gives a promise and says that if you hearken akisema ya kwamba ukisikia nze katonda I God mimi Mungu ngenda kufukira umulabe wa balabe I'll become an enemy unto your enemies nitakuwa adui kwa madui zako my God haleluya ngenda kukufukira I'll become nitakuwa bishop nisamee nisamee kuja hapa kuja nisamee <laughs> unaona bishop kama mimi ni ni mchungaji mdogo size kuja kuja <laughs> yeah this is my friend Buni rafiki yangu. Amen. Amina. Unaona sisi yake? <laughs> Unaona? Ka, kama amesema mchunga je amosuacha chintu ni kuje. Tutagumbana na huyo mtu, tutamfukuza kwako. Yeah. Sasa unaona size? Na mimi najitajiri kule na, na keti mzima na kula na kunywa, huyu atakuja kugombana kwa mimi. <laughs> Atapigana kwa niaba yake. Yeah. Unajua? Mnafahamu? Yes. yes. This is the Biblia in a foundational. Amen. Amen. Katonda gamba bwana. This is what God says. In the Bible. That if you hearken unto whatever I say. Sikia kile nitasema. Inze katonda ya tonde gununu. I God that created heaven and the earth. Mimi Mungu katonda ya yule nyanja. I that separated the ocean. Mimi ni katonda. 